Hello everyone, how are you? I'm Catherine. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel, Dryer Days Art Studio. I'm so happy to have you here, and I'm so happy to be featuring this piece in this video. Do you ever just do a piece and you feel like it's a slam dunk, you've done it? Well, that's how I feel about this one, and I can't wait to show you how I did it. I would like to give a big heartfelt thank you to Roseanne, Sue, and Asia who have either joined my Patreon or have donated on my PayPal tip jar. Thank you so much. The support really helps go towards my channel to support my channel and my artwork. So thank you so, so much. If you're interested in supporting my channel, please check out the video description on how you can do so. I am going to be using boards by Trickell. Um, as you can see there, they have a keyhole for hanging. They're on beautiful birch panel, and they are three times gesso primed. Uh, these are beautiful boards. I will include the link to Trickell in the description, and I am actually affiliated with them now. Uh, so you guys, if you uh, buy anything from them, you are helping to support my channel. I do have some exciting things coming as far as boards from Trickell that I cannot wait to share with you that you can find in my store, so stay tuned for that. So as you saw, I was just taping around the edges of this board because I wanna keep the natural wood edge around the side. So I just brought the tape right up to where the white gesso primed top layer is. And I picked out the colors that I wanted to use and just using acrylic paint um, and a dry brush technique, got the colors down to where I want them. Those two large uh, clear clusters there I made with a mold that I got from LaCranche Creations and I will have a link to where you can find her shop. Um, I, her molds are really, really nice and I love that crystal uh, quartz cluster. And as I mentioned, I will include that in the description for you if you'd like to look into that. And then I am using real crystal quartz um, that I also have in my store, dryerdaysartstudio.com, available for sale. And what I'm doing here is taking the really fine, smaller pieces and putting them right up against this edge because I wanted the larger pieces to really fade down into the super fine to give kind of this really natural, rocky edge to this section here. And my focus or my point of doing this piece was I always use the epoxy sculpt barriers for my geodes and I really wanted to try not using them. I wanted to see how I could do without barriers and um, kind of just using these two sections of the stones as barriers a little bit, which can totally be done. People do it all the time, uh, but I really didn't want to have any other thing on the board to aid in the resin. I wanted to see how that would go. So I am using my EcoArt um, Solutions cups and some of the stir sticks. Um, I would recommend, these are awesome cups and they are phenomenal to reuse them over and over again. Uh, maybe don't use chunky glitter in them. I have a hard time getting the chunky glitter out of these particular silicone cups. So I just wanted to mention that, but there is a also a link in the description of where you can buy the EcoArt Solutions cups. They are really, really great. And I love the stir sticks as well. I just did a giveaway featuring these, and when I hit 20,000 subscribers on YouTube, I'll do another giveaway and hopefully give away some more of these products. As you can see up there, I have the Chunky and the Fine Fairy Cake Glitter. This is the Baby Pink Pigment. I have the Silver Pigment up there, as well as some Gold Metallic Pigment. Also using the Supreme White, and all of those products are by Just For You Online UK and all of them are available in my store. Uh, the link is dryerdaysartstudio.com. And then I am using the small little baggie there of kind of the purplish gray is Alexandrite pigment, and I got that from Laura's Art Corner. There will be a link to her store down below as well. I won't talk during this whole video, just kind of will let you guys watch the process of how I laid this all down and the way I did it without any barriers. And I hope you guys enjoy. I'll be back in a little bit.
After the piece had cured for about 18 hours, not a full 24, I did uh, come in with some gold gilding paint that I got from Michaels. And using a little brush, I am outlining those stones to bring them out, give them a little bit more dimension. I love this gilding paint. It has a really nice metallic shine to it. It really stands out from the rest of the piece. It's beautiful. And I did some white lines using my Uni Posca markers. And then at the same time, when I, when I felt like I was done with all my line work, I did do a clear flood coat over the entire thing. As you saw there, I'm separating a little bit out and putting just a little bit of that white ignition dust in there. And that is gonna add just some really nice sparkle in certain areas, not over the entire thing, but over the crystals and uh, it'll spread out a little bit and just give some really nice little flashes of sparkle throughout the piece. Um, the reason that I waited until about the 18 hour mark is because at just before 24 hours, I wanna pull that tape on my sides and so I wanted to make sure I had all my resin down. And once I do this flood coat, um, it, I will wait a little bit longer to pull that tape. I find if I put a fresh layer of resin over resin that is still kind of in that curing phase, I do get a little bit more wiggle room and when I have to pull that tape off, um, it was a little bit difficult, but I was able to do it. So just bear that in mind, because I hate to reapply tape a million times, especially if I have to do a flood coat. It just saves so much time and energy if I can do it all with the same tape on. Just making sure I have a really thorough covering over the entire piece. Definitely use your gloves when you're doing this. Do not use any bare hands in your resin. And then hitting with the torch just a couple times to really get any of those bubbles out. This will also help incinerate any dust that may have fallen on the piece. And then I'm going to let it sit and cure for about two days. And after about six days, here she is. I have called this piece Pink Suede. I love it so much. It is for sale in my store, dryerdaysartstudio.com. I almost don't want to sell it because I love it so much, but I know I can make myself another one if I really want to. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to show you close-ups and video of it in several different lighting uh, so you can see how it looks. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Come find me on Instagram at dryerdays. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I loved making this piece so much. And uh, yeah, until next time, everybody, keep on pouring.